Hey guys, it's Misty here from The Joy Fed Elf. Welcome back to the last card in my Balloon Adventures series and Faux Neon Fridays. So today I'm going to be using the sentiment that I used on Wednesday and this striped balloon to make a Faux Neon Friday card. And on top of that, I'm using this black and white stripe piece from the pretty... It's either pretty in pink or pop of pink <laughs> designing today's paper that's retiring. Again, I'm filming this on Sunday. As of Sunday, everything I'm using is still available. So the only thing that won't be available will be the lemon lime twist, but this will be available to you starting May 1st. Okay, okay, okay. So I have my card base, measures four and a quarter by 11. I squirted at five and a half. I'm gonna use this scrap piece of paper as my inside card layer. I really hate that the nailed it retired before I could show it to you guys. They are they're out of the framelits. The stamp set I think is worth it, but it's so much cuter when it's oh that's a bit crooked. Oh well, it's just the inside. <laughs> so I have a piece of this designer series paper that measures four by five and a quarter. And again, you can find all this information in the coordinating blog post over on my blog where you'll get the PDF, etc. And I'm actually gonna do something I've never done before. I'm gonna use a piece of basic black as my card layer. So I'm gonna start with this and I'm gonna be stamping my sentiment. Make sure it fits, it does fit. <laughs> I was like, oh. And I'm gonna be stamping it in the craft ink embossing in white and then we'll set this aside to cool down and then we'll work on the others so I'm going to go ahead and put anti-static this is my embossing buddy I'm going to use craft ink because I want a sharp white now you just have to be a little careful because this ink can really smear and this is actually retiring too you're going to be able to buy the ink refill to um, and you can buy the ink spots so there we go be the best I've ever done but it still looks pretty good I'm gonna bring in a cloth <laughs> if not I'm gonna have embossing powder on everything everywhere so I'm just gonna okay I'm gonna heat this with my heat tool so that's done it's not quite perfect but I'm all right I'm all right with that actually so let me wipe this off. I've got this cloth out. And I will clean it later. I'm going to set this to the side. Our next step is going to be our balloons. I'm going to be using the stripe balloon because I'm using the stripe paper. I'm going to start with my lemon line twist. I'm gonna I'm gonna let that sit while we work on the other ones. So I'm gonna start lightest first. Let me go ahead and bring in my stamp and scrub. Sure, ready. Stamp and scrub mist, stamp and mist, stamp and scrub. One side is wet, one side is dry. So I'll start with Daffodil Delight. I'm going to stamp them all, then we'll punch them all. Oops. Of course. 
You know what, I'll hide this one. It'll be all right. <laughs> realized I didn't stamp this on cardstock. This is just a regular piece of paper, which I don't know where it even came from. So it's not showing up as well, but guess who are going in the back? <laughs> Dab with the light and lemon lime twist in the back. We just need to see a little of it. Yeah, that's definitely regular paper. I don't know why. I don't even know where that came from. So before I move on, I actually think I want to add some white lines, not stitching per se, just going to place these The Bermuda Bay and the, I think I want Bermuda Bay in the middle. So pumpkin pie and Mel Mambo will go on one layer of dimensionals. Oops. <laughs> Then the Bermuda Bay will go on two layers. So we get a little bit higher dimension. Go ahead and adhere this down flat. And 
I really should have cut this at five and a quarter, but I didn't. So um, it's gonna be have to be centered between these two little black lines. I probably should have went ahead and just embossed this. Mom, put that, but oh well, it's done. What's done is done. All right, guys. <laughs> That's, it. That's it for this week. Thanks so much for joining me. As always, links will be down in the description box below to head over to my blog to get the PDF and the measurements. I fill this in. There we go. That actually looks pretty good. Okay, now I'm ready. <laughs> then, like I mentioned, head on over to the blog, check out the coordinating blog post, um, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this week and um, 15 days of giveaways. Two days left, I hope you, or actually tomorrow's the last day of 15 days of giveaway. And then Sunday is the grand prize, I think. Right? I don't know. <laughs> tomorrow's my birthday. That's all I can think about. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining me. I will see you in the next one. Bye for now. <laughs>